Hey everybody, it's Diane Gale here from the blog and YouTube channel Sustainable Slow Living and today you and I are going to make a DIY Halloween flag banner together. I'm pretty excited about this project because I just love to do crafty um, holiday things. I've always loved to do that and this one is super 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 easy and really inexpensive and just tons of fun. So um, I have chosen three different fabrics for my banner and you will need to choose three as well. Um, the type of fabric that you use will change the way that your banner hangs. I like these inexpensive holiday print cottons because there's a ton of them to choose from. Um, because they are lightweight and they hang very, very nicely in a banner. Uh, so this is what I would recommend. You want to get three prints that go together and you want a varied colors. Or, I mean, you can do a banner with all the same material if that's what you choose. But that is how I am putting this one together today. The very first thing that you're going to need to do to get started to make your banner is to cut a template for your flag. So I, um, I used an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And in doing that, you can make your flags any size that you want to, up to obviously eight and a half wide by 11 long. I'm going to do mine four and a quarter wide, basically because it's, it's about the right size. I would want it like maybe four inches. And all I have to do is fold my sheet of paper in half. If you just run down one side with your fingernail and then fold it the other way and do the same, it will just rip in half. It will just rip in half nice and evenly. And then you don't have to be bothered with measuring that part. But then the next part you're going to have to measure. So in order to make the template, you're going to have to take whatever size you choose. For me, it's a four and a quarter inch width, and you're going to have to fold that paper in half again. And you're basically just doing this to get yourself a center point. And there you have it. Your crease is now the center point. I want my flag to be six inches long, so I am going to measure six inches down from that crease. At the six inch mark on the paper, I am going to just put a black dot. And from there, it's pretty simple. You are going to measure from the center of that black dot to the corner, to the left hand corner. And there you're going to draw a line. And then you are going to do the same thing going in the other direction. And there you have it, although it's a little messy because the grooves in my table here were giving me a hard time. That's your flag template. The next thing I'm going to do is just simply cut it out. Um, I am going to cut down the inner edge of this marking with an old pair of scissors. Um, if you sew, you probably don't need me to tell you that you don't want to use your good fabric scissors for paper. But if sewing is new to you, then maybe you do need to hear that. Never use your good fabric scissors for paper. It will dull them in a very bad way, and scissors are not that easy to sharpen. At least not in my opinion. So, we have a flag template, and this is what we are going to use to cut out all of our flags. We are going to need five flags of each color, and there is a front and a back, to each flag, so we're gonna need 10 cutouts. Um, I already cut out my purple flags, and I cut out my black flags, and I left the orange to do with you. 
so that you would be able to see how it's done. Um, there is an edge on the inside of this fabric. I hope you can see that. That is kind of undesirable and doesn't match the print. And so before I cut fabric, I'm going to cut off that edge. And for that, I will use the fabric scissors. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about getting any undesirable bits in our flags. I'm going to take this, if I remember, this is a half yard of fabric. I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it in half lengthwise. And I'm going to try to really match up the edges. Because that will make everything easier in the long run. Okay, so there we go. So this is the edge that you're really trying to get lined up more than anything else. Although you do want all of your edges lined up as much as you can get them. You take your flag banner and just set it here in the corner. And um, at this point, I recommend pinning it down. Uh, I tried doing it without pinning it down. It just leaves too much room for error. And it seems like it's, um, it takes too long to try and hold the template straight. It's easier to pin it down. I will say that if you have like a cutting mat and a rotary cutter, which I used to have um, and I miss terribly, then you can do this on a rotary cutter in like literally seconds. Not as easy on this tabletop. But anyway, <clears throat> go ahead and pin it down. It will make it easier for you. And then take your fabric scissors and just cut that right out. And here we go, you guys. You have your first flag. One of the great things about this pattern is there's very little waste because you're going to take your little template right now and you're just going to line it up right along the cut edge where you left off with your last flag. And there's really no material wasted. Ooh, don't stick yourself with a pin. That actually hurt. So I'm going to repeat this flipping the template five times because I want five flags and this is giving me a double-sided flag. Okay, you guys, so that's it. We have five flags cut out here and I'm going to take them now and I'm going to um, iron them out flat. I have my iron set up in the other room. This is another step that if you're like me, you're maybe a little inclined to be like, oh, I can skip it. But I encourage you not to. Um, it's important to keep your flags um, as even on the edges as you can. And ironing them out is going to help that a little bit. And then I am also going to repin each of the corners, just like I had pinned that template on there, um, because I want them to stay together when I sew them. And I'll be sewing them next. And here they are five little flags all pinned together all ironed up flat and ready to be sewn um, i'm going to show you how to sew them they are so quick and so easy you can have all 15 of your flags done in just minutes um, it's it's really a beautiful thing quick easy craft to throw together um, and a perfect party decoration a uh, great decoration in a doorway, in a house, um, uh, over a window box, a decorated window box outside, um, along the edge of your porch railing, right? You can make as many of these or make them as short or long as you like. And um, they go great with just about everything. So let's get to sewing these flags. I hope you guys can see pretty well. It looks like you can. 
I'm gonna take a pin out. Now here we are with the flag. We're gonna go down the long side and back up the other long side. We don't have to sew across the top because that's gonna have a binding on it, which is how you're gonna hang your banner. And I'm just gonna use the edge of my foot here as a guide. I'm gonna line it up with that material. There's no reason to tack your material at the start because your binding is going to um, is going to tack that down. As you approach the tip, you want to just go really slow because you're going to want to get that. Oh, right there. You're going to want to get that right about in the middle, and then you're just going to want to turn this and come up the other side. And here we have it, you guys. We have five orange flags. So if you hold your flag up like this, you're going to see that you have your strings, and occasionally you'll have another string hanging. This material isn't doing it as much as the last two materials that I used, but you just want to clip those off because you're going to put your binding up there and you really just don't want them hanging out, um, looking sloppy, you know, peeking out under your binding after you sew it on. So just clean these up a little. And there we go, you guys. We have five of each different color all sewn up. As you can see, they're not perfect on the edge and that's okay. Don't worry about that. Um, but just while you're making them, take the extra effort to get them as straight as possible. And then from there, I mean, they're not going to be perfect they're, and they're not supposed to be. So you're good to go. I think this color scheme goes really great together and I think I'm really going to love it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our binding. So the binding is not any harder than the rest of the project. And as I'm sure you can see at this point, the project is very, very easy. You can use um, a double wide bias tape for binding if you want to. It's more expensive than gross grain ribbon. And I think the gross grain ribbon has a nicer look. I like the idea that it's textured. I like the idea that it's shiny. And I also like the idea that it's very, very plain. I bought a 7 8 inch wide gross grain ribbon in black because black just kind of works for Halloween, but really all you need is a ribbon that's going to match your flags. Um, you can go for a print if you want to make the flags even busier than they already are, but the prints on the flags are pretty busy, so I thought that solid was the way to go. I cut an 84 inch length of this ribbon. And then I went ahead and I ironed it in half. And you want to get it pretty, you want to be pretty particular. It's very easy to do. So you want to iron this in half. And as you iron, you want to pin it every so often as you go. Oh, I just pulled the pin out. because you want to discourage it from opening back up before you start to insert your flags. So we need to place our flags tucked up inside our halved ribbon, and then we're going to sew down the ribbon to hold everything in place. Um, and this can all be done right while you're sewing on the sewing machine. But I'm gonna bring you in and I'm gonna show you how to place that first flag and then we'll go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how you can just very easily sew straight down the ribbon, adding your flags in as you go. And when you get to the end, you have a finished product. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure six inches in from the end. And then I'm going to go orange, black, purple with my pattern. So you're going to take your orange flag and you're going to set it inside the ribbon as close up to the crease as you can.
And for at least this first one, I am going to pin. So there we go. We've got our first flag at about six inches in. Let's go to that sewing machine. I'm going to start right at the top of the ribbon here because I want I don't want the ribbon to pucker open all the time so we'll start right there again we'll use the foot as a guide we're gonna head right down here and we'll get that first flag sewn right in and then you're gonna to want to take and you're gonna to want to put your next flag about a half inch from that. So I'm just gonna put my ruler in there and see about how far that is. After this first one, we're gonna kind of eye them. But let's see, so that's about right there. We're open this ribbon up and set this flag in. Get it all the way up into the crease so that the stitching holds it very well. It is folding open on me down here. A little tricky, it's the first time I'm doing it, so it feels a little tricky. Okay, let's do one more. All right, you guys, I should note one thing here. When I'm measuring a half inch, I'm measuring from the tip of this flag to the tip of the next one. Um, because that's the way I measured out how much ribbon I was going to need was by the width of the top of the flag. So um, make sure that you're doing that as you put your banner together. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish sewing the rest of these flags in here and I'll be right back. Look at this. It's done and I love it. It's actually, well I shouldn't say it's done. We have one more step. So I'm going to take the end of the ribbon and I am going to take the other end of the ribbon and I am going to even them off. I'm just going to cut straight across there so that they are the same length and then I'm going to take and I'm going to fold that ribbon down to make a little loop and I'm just going to put a stitch across so that you have a loop to hang this with and this stitch I am going to tack because there's going to be some pressure on that when it's hanging and I don't want it to come undone there we go I'm going to trim the strings and do the other side and then we are going to be done all right, well, I couldn't be happier with the finished product. I think it's adorable. I mean, just look at this. That is just adorable. And um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's super easy to do. It can most definitely be done in um, an afternoon or on a weeknight. It just takes a couple of hours. Um, and that's really all about how much you want to fuss with it. You could probably throw one together even quicker than that. But I hope that you find some Halloween themed material that you love and I hope that you make yourself a really cute um, do-it-yourself Halloween flag banner and um, there is more information over in the blog post as always. It is linked down below as always. I am so glad that you joined me here today and you and I are going to get together again really soon.